I have chemical workbench window ahead of me. File, new. The wizard window will appear, which will allow to select the type of the desired project. Enter its name. And start model development by pressing button OK. I am directed to the model setup window where I should build the chain of the reactors according to the problem desired. First, I place the well steered reactor as a model of the primary flame. Next, I will place also the well steered reactor as the model of the secondary flame. And after that, I place the plug flow reactor as the model of the post flame zone. I connect these reactors in a chain. In simulations, this option will provide automatic data transfer from one reactor to another. Now, we will define the parameters of the simulation. The setup of the parameters for any reactor usually starts from the definition of the mechanism. Right mouse click on the mechanism, select load from and three options, database, file and chemkin file format. I recommend to use the database of the validated mechanisms. Select the GRI mechanism for methane combustion and click OK. Now I can see all the species and directions downloaded into the mechanism. Next, I specify the parameters of incoming fresh fuel air mixture. Its flow rate with definition of the units of the flow rate. Next, temperature in kelvins. Next, I will specify the units in which the mixture composition will be entered. Next, to enter mixture composition, right-click on this field, enter species name and its fraction. The fractions can be entered in arbitrary units and in our case they specify the moles of every mixture component. Next step is definition of the parameters of the numerical procedure. We will leave these parameters at default values. The next step is definition of the process parameters. I need to enter temperature in the combustion chamber. Next, I will enter residence time in the flame. And after that, I will specify the ignition temperature in the recirculation zone. The similar setup procedure will be used for the second reactor of the chain. So, we load the mechanism. Please note that the mechanism is a list of reagents, intermediate species, and products, and also the reactions between these substances. The data for the second reactor will be entered in a similar way. In this reactor, we will also define the second input stream. Here I will show how to define parameters with multiple values. Press function button and in new window enter manually the desired values of the specific parameter. Also, you can define the range of the values specifying the minimum value, maximum value and step or number of points to be defined. Next. I will define the remaining parameters of the input stream to temperature, type of the concentration, and composition of the secondary air, its oxygen and nitrogen. The calculation parameters will be left as default values. Next model parameters are pressure in the combustion chamber, residence time in the mixing zone of the combustion products and secondary air. Also 
the ignition temperature is 2000 kelvins as start of the calculation of the steady state. The next reactor in the chain is the park flow reactor and again we select the mechanism GRI 3.0. Note that for this reactor we doesn't have any inlets. All the data will be transferred automatically from the previous reactor in the chain. Calculation parameters are the same. Model parameters, pressure in combustion chamber 18 atmospheres, reactor length 100 cm and reactor cross section 25 square cm. We completed the specification of the parameters of the simulation and we can start it. Please Press Run button on the main toolbar. After that, the program starts the analysis of the all mechanism loaded into the project. It means that it checks species and reactions according to the type of the reactor model selected. Now the analysis is completed and the simulation of every reactor is started. All the results on the tree are automatically updated. Also supplementary information is shown in the calculation log window. Please use it to check the correspondence of the data and the status of the simulation. When the simulation is completed, all available results will be shown on the left side of the program window in the tree. The results of the simulation for every reactor can be accessed on the left side of the window in the calculation tree. Select the necessary table of the results for the specific reactor. Then the table form of the presentation will appear. It includes concentration of species, reaction rates, and also the process parameters which include temperature, pressure, density, and other thermodynamic functions of the mixture. Let's plot how the concentrations of NO and CO changes in the post-flame zone. To do this, go to the calculation tree, on the plot right button click and select Add Plot. In the new window, select button Setup Plot. In the dialog window, select the plug flow reactor and table general results. Next, select the concentration units as PPM, standard units to analyze CO and NO concentrations. Next, assign the specific rows to every data column in the table of the results. After that, close the plot setup window. Please note that every curve is highlighted when the mouse moves over it. Also, the highlighted the legend for this curve. Now the simulation is completed and we can save our project. To do this, go to File, Save. 